Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 4a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 99, and the question is 10. Now, this is literally a carbon copy of question 9. So, for that reason, I'm going to leave out much of the, the theory. If, you're, if you don't understand what I'm doing, just look at question 9. So, if we draw it, we're going to get... Oh, excuse me, I have to read it out first. <laughs> the particle P is moving with velocity negative 8 i hat plus 12 j hat while another particle q is moving with velocity 7 i hat plus 4 j hat. Find the velocity of p relative to q. p is at a point 119 i hat, where q is at the origin. Show the positions of p and q on a diagram, and show the path of p relative to q. Calculate this distance, uh, the distance from o, this distance from o to this path. What does this distance represent? So we draw, of course, our x, y, or Cartesian plane, I'm going to do this pretty quickly now. We know that 119 meters from the origin, we have Q and we have P here. This vector is equal to 7i hat plus 4j hat. And this vector here is equal to negative 8i hat plus 12j hat. So the vector V pq is equal to vp minus vq. That means that q considers itself to be stationary. How fast is p moving in, 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 in uh, relative to it, we'll say. So v, vpq, if you just play around with that, you'll get negative 15 i hat plus 8 j hat. To get the magnitude of it, just use Pythagoras, and you're going to get vpq squared is equal to the square root of negative 15 to be squared plus 8 to be squared and you work out that vpq the magnitude of it is equal to 17 oh that's that didn't work there 17 and if you want to get the angle so you'll say you'll take the inverse tan of the j over the i so you're going to get theta is equal to inverse tan of 8 over 15 is equal to 28 degrees. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is to sketch this vector. So it was negative 15 i hat plus 8 j hat, so it was like this. like so. Alright, and the angle we had was 28 degrees and we knew this distance here was 119. Alright, so if the vector Q is here, now what are we asked to find? Show the position, yeah we've done that, calculate the distance from o of the distance of O from this path. What does this distance represent? Okay, so if I want to get this distance here, d, I'm going to say that sine of 28 is equal to d over 119. Therefore, d is equal to 119 times the sine of 28, which is equal to 56 meters. And what this corresponds to is the shortest path. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.